Hi guys, welcome to TechBrick Tutorial. Today we are going to talk about Printify Tutorials Payment Settings Updated in 2023. This is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and if you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Now let's dive right in. So basically, Printify is actually a website where you can actually link your stores. Um, say for instance, your Etsy store and your Preta store, uh, your Shopify, and then you can actually like um, get suppliers on your printing and whatnot to, to your store by then. Now, let's learn how we can actually like update the payment settings in this website and let's get started first we need to go to the wallet section here and then we are going to see the payment section so we have actually four important tabs or five rather so here we have the payment details first so in order for you to add onto your printify balance all you need to do is to um, choose whether or not you would like to have the paypal or the pioneer linked to your account so the good thing with the printify balance is that it's no hassle and you can easily cover your order and production costs with this one and it also have faster order processing without the need for card payments and also you can avoid extra transaction and conversion fees when you actually choose this one right here all right now say for instance if you would like to have um your paypal i'm gonna show you how it looks like so to top up an amount you can choose whether you would like to have 25 50 100 and then if there's like a certain amount that you would want to add to you can simply type it in the box so with paypal or with topping up with your paypal or pay in your account you can only top up with a usd um conversion so if you do have any other types of currency then that would be for another payment um method Alright, so still the same with Payoneer. You just need to input the um, amount that you would like to top up onto your um, Printify. And then afterwards, that would be added onto your Printify balance after. Now, another option to add onto your payment details is through your payment card. So you can add a credit or debit card for uh, you to use or whether if you don't have enough funds in your printify balance now here you can actually change your billing currency so with this kind of payment setup uh, printify balance is disabled and make sure to attach the card as well and you cannot use your coupons with this setting and automatic order approval will change multiple smaller amounts as well so there we have different kinds of um, billing currency like the Great Britain, Euro, Canadian, and Australian dollars. Say for instance, you would like to have AUD or Australian dollars, then you can um, click on that one and then you can have the option to change it by clicking on the lower right hand corner. There the button would show up. Okay now right here you could also have the printify premium uh, you can subscribe onto that one and you'll get up to 20 percent discount on all your products so if you do have a coupon this actually is only applicable for those payment settings with a usd so you can add a coupon right there to have a lesser amount to pay with your transactions the next tab is your transaction section wherein you will actually see all the transactions that you have made uh, where the payment details have gone through and whatnot now here with your summary invoice you can also see your monthly reports that include all the invoice made within the month all right so there there are actually different kinds of countries that you can see right there from Australia, New Zealand, Canada, 
and the likes. It will show up automatically in this section. Alright. Next is your per order invoices as well. So this section is providing individual invoices for each order given. You can choose the frequency and format of all your invoice in that section. And lastly, you have the withdraw balance tab wherein you can withdraw from your balance. Your request will be reviewed within like 48 business hours and you will receive an email once it has been processed and approved. So they, there, for instance, uh, you do have like a Payoneer, um, you top up $100 into your, from your Payoneer account to your Printify so and then there is still like sixty dollars left you can actually withdraw that one just input the amount that you would want to withdraw and confirm the withdrawal then after which here below you can actually see a withdraw history where it will show all the um withdrawal histories that you have made in the past or if you did uh request for one then you can show it or you can see it right there Okay, so here, let's go over settings. So in our settings, we could actually see um, or change the format of our invoice, how frequently we can get them, and um, there would be two options available for that one, which I'll be showing you once we have gone through our settings options right here. Okay. Now let me just go through our Printify settings. Alright, so here in our settings, we can actually see your invoices frequency and format. So there you can actually opt to have a upon payment. So every time someone orders, you can actually have that one or monthly which will be coming up every end of the month and whatnot so basically that's um, how we can update and change your payment setting and method here in our printify so before we wrap things up now let me tell you why it's important to update your payment settings here at printify so first to have a smooth customer experience up-to-date payment settings ensure that customers can complete their purchases without any hindrances so if payment settings are outdated or not properly configured customers might face issues during the checkout process leading to frustration and potentially abandoned carts second payment security keeping your payment settings updated helps maintain the security of your financial transactions outdated payment systems might be more vulnerable to security breaches leading to potential data leaks or fraudulent activities and lastly for accurate transactions updated payment settings ensure that transactions are processed accurately and incorrect settings can result in incorrect charges or failed transactions causing inf inconvenience for both you and your customer and that's a wrap for today's video guys i hope that this has helped you and thank you so much for watching i hope you find this tutorial helpful and hope to see you in the next video bye